So in today's video, let's look at the uh, solution of the um, linear um, second order ODE with uh, constant coefficients in the case where the, um, the roots of the characteristic equation are real. So um, we're going to use the principle of uh, superposition. And uh, the easiest way to see how this is done is by just looking at a, uh, a simple ODE that we, that we can solve. So we're considering uh, x double dot plus 5x dot plus 6x equals 0 with uh, two initial conditions, x of 0 equals 2 and x dot of 0 equals 3. We try our ansatz, x equals e to the rt. We substitute into the differential equation and use the fact that the e to the rt will cancel. So the second derivative brings down a r squared plus 5. The first derivative brings down an r plus uh, 6 times the e to the rt, which cancels, equals 0. So we get our characteristic equation, which is a quadratic equation in r. Uh, this one is uh, simple because it factors, so 6 is 3 times 2 and 5 is 3 plus 2. So we have a r plus 2 times an r plus 3 equals 0. And there are two roots, so r is equal to either minus 2 or minus 3. Okay, so that means we found uh, two solutions of the differential equation e to the minus 2t and e to the minus 3t. So we apply the principle of superposition. So we can write x of t equals a constant times e to the minus 2t plus another constant times e to the minus 3t. Okay, so that's the general solution to the differential equation. Um, now we use these free constants to satisfy the initial conditions, uh, which are at x of 0 and uh, at x dot of 0. Uh, this is x of t, so it would be useful if we know what x dot of t is. Uh, using the chain rule, we have minus 2c1 e to the minus 2t minus 3c2 e to the minus 3t. Um, then we can apply the initial conditions. So x of 0 is supposed to be equal to 2. And that's equal c1 times e to the 0, which is c1, plus c2 times e to the 0, which is c2. Okay. Uh, similarly, x dot of 0 is supposed to be equal to 3 and that's equal to minus 2c1 minus 3c2. So these are our two uh, systems, a system of two linear equations for c1 and c2. And uh, we can easily solve them. So you use uh, whatever tricks you like to use to solve these equations. <coughs> um, I would multiply the first equation by 3 and add it to the second equation. So then the C2 cancels, right? So I would multiply this equation by 3 and add it to this equation, right? So uh, the C2 cancels. We get 3C1 plus a negative 2c1, which is a c1. So that enables us to solve for c1, which is 3 times 2 plus 3, which is 6 plus 3, which is 9. And then we can use the first equation to solve for c2 is 2 minus c1, 2 minus 9 is minus 7. Okay, and that completes the solution. So we just write down the solution x of t equals c1, 9, times e to the minus 2t, plus c2, minus 7, times e to the minus 3t. 
okay pretty straightforward